Test one. Hello. This is the Cambridge English Flyers listening test. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. What's this photo? Oh, it's my family at the airport. When we arrived back from our holiday, we were waiting for our bags. Who's that boy with the curly hair? The one with his hands in his pockets. Yes. That's William. He's my sister's oldest boy. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Is that you in the long jacket, Helen? Yes, it is. What were you doing? Well. You know you can't use your phone on a plane. I was just turning mine on again after the journey. Oh, I see. And where's your husband? Robert. He's the person with the backpack. He's got a beard. Yes, for the first time. He looks good with one. Thanks. That looks like a heavy suitcase. Do you mean the one with the penguin on it? No, the one that the man has just dropped on the floor. Oh yes, that's my brother Michael. He bought a lot of CDs on his holiday, and then he couldn't carry them. Oh dear! Is that person in sunglasses in your family? The man at the back of the picture. Yes, that's my younger brother. Is his name David? Yes. That's right. He was waiting for his bag. It was the last one to come off the plane. That's boring. Yes, it was. Where's your daughter, Holly? Is she the girl who's hiding behind the suitcase? No. I don't know that girl. So, is she the girl who's speaking to that boy? Yes, and she's brushing her hair. She wanted to look beautiful for the photo, but it was too late. <laughs> Now listen to part one again. Is that you in the long jacket, Helen? Yes, it is. What were you doing? Well, you know you can't use your phone on a plane. I was just turning mine on again after the journey. Oh, I see. And where's your husband? Robert. He's the person with the backpack. He's got a beard. Yes. For the first time, he looks good with one. Thanks. That looks like a heavy suitcase. Do you mean the one with the penguin on it? No, 
The one that the man has just dropped on the floor. Oh, yes. That's my brother Michael. He bought a lot of CDs on his holiday, and then he couldn't carry them. Oh, dear. Is that person in sunglasses in your family? The man at the back of the picture? Yes. That's my younger brother. Is his name David? Yes, that's right. He was waiting for his bag. It was the last one to come off the plane. That's boring. Yes, it was. Where's your daughter, Holly? Is she the girl who's hiding behind the suitcase? No. I don't know that girl. So, is she the girl who's speaking to that boy? Yes. And she's brushing her hair. She wanted to look beautiful for the photo, but it was too late. <laughs> That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. I'm so excited, Dad. My class is going to visit a castle next week. Wow. What day are you going to go, Katie? On Wednesday. OK. You have to tell me about it. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. What's the name of this castle? It's called Howard Castle. How do you spell that? I've got it on this piece of paper. It's H-O-W-A-R-D. I know. It's about 30 kilometres from here. And what are you going to do there? We're going to learn about the people who lived there 650 years ago. How are you going to do that? Well, first, we're going to watch a film about them. It's called Brave and... Scary? <laughs> no, Dad. It's called Brave and Strong. And what else are you going to do? Well, they've got some clothes there and we can dress up in them. So, do you want to wear a queen's crown? No, I really want to try a helmet. I think they were heavy. Well, that sounds brilliant. Are you going to go there on a bus? Yes, we have to meet at the car park. The one at school? No, some men are working there at the moment, so we're going to meet in the one at the fire station. OK, that's good. Now listen to part two again. What's the name of this castle? It's called Howard Castle. How do you spell that? I've got it on this piece of paper. It's H-O-W-A-R-D. I know. It's about 30 kilometres from here. And what are you going to do there? We're going to learn about the people who lived there 650 years ago. How are you going to do that? Well, first, we're going to watch a film about them. It's called Brave and... Scary? <laughs> no, Dad. It's called Brave and Strong. And what else are you going to do? Well, they've got some clothes there and we can dress up in them. So, do you want to wear a queen's crown? No, I really want to try a helmet. I think they were heavy. Well, that sounds brilliant. Are you going to go there on a bus? Yes, we have to meet at the car park. The one at school? No, some men are working there at the moment, so we're going to meet in the one at the fire station.
Okay, that's good. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. The children in Mr. White's class have just finished an art project about their favourite creatures. Which creature did each child draw? Your classroom looks fantastic, Mr. White. Who did all these beautiful drawings? They're good, aren't they? The children did a project on their favourite creatures. Who drew the camel? Oh, that was George. He visited an animal park with his family last weekend, and he had a ride on one. They're very ugly animals, but he thought it was great. Can you see the letter H? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Look at all the different colours in this beetle. It's really good. Yes, the boy who did that is a really clever artist. What's his name? It's Richard. He collects insects and studies them, so he knows a lot about them. Excellent. I can see that some of the other children like things that fly. Yes, that's right. One girl's family keeps birds at home. Really? Yes. Her name's Daisy. What did she draw? Well, before she started, she wanted to do a parrot. But then she saw a TV programme about an eagle, and she decided to do one of those instead. And sea creatures are popular with your class too. Who drew the dolphin? Was it the boy called John? Well, he did draw something in the sea, but he prefers dangerous animals. So, is that his shark? Yes. It looks quite frightening with all those teeth, doesn't it? There's another dangerous animal here. Do you mean the dinosaur? No, actually, I meant the polar bear. Oh, yes. They look furry and nice, but they can be horrible. A girl called Emma drew that. She wants to go and explore cold countries in the future. So she chose that animal. So who did draw the dinosaur? It's very good. Yes, it is. That was Sarah. She's really interested in animals that are extinct, so she chose to do that one. They're quite difficult to draw, but she did it really well. Yes,、yeah, she did. But all the children's drawings are great. <laughs> Thanks. Now listen to part three again. Look at all the different colours in this beetle. It's really good. Yes, the boy who did that is a really clever artist. What's his name? It's Richard. He collects insects and studies them, so he knows a lot about them. Excellent. I can see that some of the other children like things that fly. Yes, that's right. One girl's family keeps birds at home. Really? Yes. Her name's Daisy. What did she draw? Well, before she started, she wanted to do a parrot, but then she saw a TV program about an eagle, and she decided to do one of those instead. And sea creatures are popular with your class too. Who drew the dolphin? Was it the boy called John? Well, he did draw something in the sea, but he prefers dangerous animals. So, is that his shark? Yes, it looks quite frightening with all those teeth, doesn't it? There's another dangerous animal here. 
Do you mean the dinosaur? No, actually, I meant the polar bear. Oh, yes. They look furry and nice, but they can be horrible. A girl called Emma drew that. She wants to go and explore cold countries in the future. So she chose that animal. So, who did draw the dinosaur? It's very good. Yes, it is. That was Sarah. She's really interested in animals that are extinct, so she chose to do that one. They're quite difficult to draw, but she did it really well. Yes, yeah, she did. But all the children's drawings are great. <laughs> Thanks. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. How are Charlie and his mum going to get to the city? Charlie, we're going to go to the city tomorrow. How are we going to get there? In a taxi like last time? Well, your dad could give us a ride in the car, but I prefer to go on the train. Great. I like doing that. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where are they going to go first? Where are we going to go? Well, your sister wants me to get something from her school for her, but I think we should go to the bank first. Then are we going to go shopping? Yes. I need some things from the market. Two. What is Mum going to buy? Are you going to buy some more delicious strawberries? I've already got some. Great! But I need some flour. I'm going to make some cookies. Hooray! Three. What are they going to have for lunch? Can we go to the pizza restaurant for lunch? I think that's too expensive. So I'm making these sandwiches. We can eat them in the park. Oh, OK. Don't worry. I've got some chocolate cakes. And you can eat them on the journey if you're hungry. Thanks, Mom. You're fantastic. Four. Where are they going to go in the evening? What time are we going to come home? Well, I've got another surprise for you. We're going to go somewhere special in the evening. What? To the movie theater? No. This is outside. There's a fun fair in town, so we can go to that. Like when we went to the circus last year? That's right. Five. Who is going to meet Mum and Charlie in the evening? Are we going to go there alone? No. We're going to meet your Aunt Vicky. And Uncle Peter? He can't come. But Grandpa can. That sounds like a cool day out, Mom. Now listen to part four again. One. Where are they going to go first? Where are we going to go? Well, 
Your sister wants me to get something from her school for her, but I think we should go to the bank first. Then are we going to go shopping? Yes. I need some things from the market. Two. What is Mum going to buy? Are you going to buy some more delicious strawberries? I've already got some. Great. But I need some flour. I'm going to make some cookies. Hooray! Three. What are they going to have for lunch? Can we go to the pizza restaurant for lunch? I think that's too expensive, so I'm making these sandwiches. We can eat them in the park. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I've got some chocolate cakes, and you can eat them on the journey if you're hungry. Thanks, Mom. You're fantastic. Four. Where are they going to go in the evening? What time are we going to come home? Well, I've got another surprise for you. We're going to go somewhere special in the evening. What? To the movie theater? No. This is outside. There's a fun fair in town, so we can go to that. Like when we went to the circus last year. That's right. Five. Who is going to meet Mum and Charlie in the evening? Are we going to go there alone? No, we're going to meet your aunt Vicky. And Uncle Peter? He can't come. But Grandpa can. That sounds like a cool day out, Mom. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. What's this picture, Grace? It's from my history class, Dad. These people lived more than two thousand years ago. That's interesting. Why don't you colour the flag on top of the tent? Okay. How about colouring it blue? I'm doing that now. Can you see the blue flag? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. The women in this picture are busy. Yes, that woman's making a blanket. It's very nice. Color the circle on it yellow. Yes, that's a good color. I'd like to have that on my bed. Me too. Two. I think that woman's good at making beautiful things. Yes. Look at that cushion. The one with the baby on it. Yes. I'm going to colour it red. He'll like that. <laughs> Three. What has that man behind the tent got? That's fur from the animals. He's going to make something with it. Is it for shoes? You could write that on the board next to him. No, it's for coats actually. Oh, write that then.
four. What's that boy drinking? They usually drank milk, I think. I think so too. I can write that on that bottle in front of him. OK, do that now. Five. And I think that woman's his mother. She's cooking their dinner on the fire. Yes, they ate the meat from cows. She's cooking it in a metal bowl. You could colour that now. No, I'm going to do the one on the ground. It's made of wood. OK, colour it brown. Then I think you'll have a very nice picture. Thanks, Dad. Now listen to part five again. One. The women in this picture are busy. Yes, that woman's making a blanket. It's very nice. Colour the circle on it yellow. Yes, that's a good colour. I'd like to have that on my bed. Me too. I think that woman's good at making beautiful things. Yes. Look at that cushion. The one with the baby on it? Yes. I'm going to colour it red. He'll like that. <laughs> Three. What has that man behind the tent got? That's fur from the animals. He's going to make something with it. Is it for shoes? You could write that on the board next to him. No, it's for coats, actually. Oh, write that then. Four. What's that boy drinking? They usually drank milk, I think. I think so too. I can write that on that bottle in front of him. OK, do that now. Five. And I think that woman's his mother. She's cooking their dinner on the fire. Yes, they ate the meat from cows. She's cooking it in a metal bowl. You could colour that now. No, I'm going to do the one on the ground. It's made of wood. OK, colour it brown. Then I think you'll have a very nice picture. Thanks, Dad. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test.